Michelle Andre returns to Rowan University after six years as a head coach at Stockton. She takes over for Penny Kempf, who stepped down after 17 seasons. Andre served as an assistant coach for the Profs from 1998 to 2001, and again during the 2007 and 2008 seasons. Andre was a standout in field hockey and softball at the university, and she was also the goalkeeper for the women's lacrosse team. She says having those ties to the university has made the transition to head coach much easier. I do think that there's a certain camaraderie that going through the program as a Rowan field hockey player, we share an experience that it doesn't matter when you graduate it. So I think that part has been a great transition for the girls. I do find it has been a seamless transition with them. Every drill, every pass, every shot has to be with a purpose this year for Rowan. And Andre talks about how the players know what that purpose is and how it will hopefully take this team on a national championship run. We absolutely have a purpose and we're going to remember the process of that purpose. Uh, but we're going to be a team that's going to be able to control the midfield in the way we're going to play and midfield transition. That, that's what the, one of the things that we like to do. We're, we're doing it well. They're starting to see some things that are going to help with that. All those things are purposeful movements to help us possess the ball be able to go forward quickly so you know that's one of the things I keep trying to remind them like what's your purpose what's our process to get to that purpose. The Brown and Gold have four stellar seniors this year in Joanna James, Samantha Potozak, Marissa Marini and Sam Brown. Andre says they are being very creative during preseason and she is excited to see what they can produce during in-game situations. I've been seeing a lot of a lot of fun things. <laughs> I think it's going to be creative. It, it's fun for them right now because we're just creating things off how we're attacking out of the midfield. Uh, Jenna Pressler is helping with that. Courtney Aquino is helping that with that. We have some freshmen that are going to come in um, and help with that too. And being able to constantly being on the attack, but they're being creative up at the forward line. They're doing things that. Again, trying to see the space, trying to attack the space, and it's, 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 they're, lot, they're going to be a lot of fun to watch this year. In 2014, Brown led the team in points with 46 and in goals with 20. James was right behind her in the scoring department, tallying 30 points and 14 goals. So this two-headed monster for the profs will look to cause a lot of problems for the opponents. Marini was the NJAC midfielder of the year last fall, and she looks to anchor a prof's defense, which was second in the conference and goes against, and looks to run the offense as well. She's just a presence, and we have her right now in our center back position, and you know the center back position is pretty much her quarterback position, and she just, you know, she can create plays around her, and what's going to happen is she, as she dictates play with how she plays, we are going to be able to have a balanced attack pushing her up to having her at that at that position. Marini will have a lot of role players around her in Potozak, Paige Davis, Abby Tucker, and Allison Engel, just to name a few. We have we have quite a few role players that not only are going to be, they're, they're going to be important to what we're going to do, but I, I do like what I'm seeing out of the whole team in, in a sense that it's just not one person doing it. The whole team is buying into what we want to do defensively, which is play great defense in the midfield and then go on attack. Look for Carly DeMarco to be in the cage in 2015 as a sophomore is coming off a great freshman year where she had a 1.55 goals against average and recorded four shutouts. She's a very good goalie. She's very athletic. She makes very good decisions. Um, and then with Kim Pyle and Susie Mansour back there too, um, I feel good about our goalkeeping situation in the sense that they're, they're strong in that position and they make very good decisions. Like I feel that we have a very confident backfield that can, that can shut teams down. The Profs were selected to finish second in the NJAC and they are ranked 20th in the nation entering 2015. But Andre says this team knows what they need to do and they are ready to deal with anything thrown their way. It's not gonna, you're not gonna win anything right now. I mean, you're progressing to win those things, but every game is important, especially in um, Division Three field hockey. But again, it's a process that we have to go through to stay on task with what we wanna have in November. Rowan opens its 2015 campaign on September 3rd as they travel to FDU Florham before having their home opener against Franklin and Marshall on the 5th, starting at 1 p.m.